Hi. They are. It's Cook with Jake and Joy, season it's 10. It's us again. It's us again, <laughs> and we are all about the seasons this year on our vegan, gluten-free cooking show. And you know, not all of you have to be vegan and gluten-free to follow along with us. You might just be looking at adding some more plants into your diet, or how can you experiment with gluten-free? Maybe your stomach's been bothering you a little bit, and you're wondering, am I gluten intolerant? Not everybody is, so just because it's popular doesn't mean you have to do it, but if you can make something that's delicious, why not? To make savory ginger green onion crepes, you're gonna need two thirds cup of chickpea flour, two thirds cup of buckwheat flour, two green onions finely sliced, two teaspoons of fine sea salt, one teaspoon of chili powder, one inch piece of fresh ginger peeled and finely grated, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, and one and a half cups of filtered water, and some canola oil spray for cooking the crepes. We've been getting a lot of inspiration from some different cookbooks that are talking about the seasons, although they haven't divided them up into seasons. So it's really up to you if you're eating according to the seasons. Just go to your farmer's market and what's available is what's in season. But um, green onions are generally thought of as a spring and summer thing. Now, we grow green onions year-round in our tower garden. You want to show people how those look, Jake, and talk mm -hmm. a little bit about tower garden growing? Aren't those nice? They still have the, all, the root system on them. So cool. So these are like living. You know, you've seen living lettuces in the, in the grocery store. This is living all your produce living. Yeah, which is, which is awesome, especially for greens, because once you cut a green, it, you start losing the nutritional content of it right away. So it's really great to grow this way. Also, when I buy things like green onions, I mean, I even saw over at your house, you know, once they've been sitting around for a while, they just start getting mushy and you don't get to use them all. But we're going to use store-bought ones in this recipe today. So we're going to mix all of the dry ingredients together in this big, in this big uh, bowl. We're going to use two-thirds cup of chickpea flour. Okay. There's all these different types of gluten-free flours. And the only bummer about it is that if you get pantry moths, it kind of sucks. Yeah, because a lot of them are kinda, can be kind of pricey. Yes. It's a good idea to put them in the freezer when you first get them, you don't have to store them in the freezer, but if you put them in the freezer, if you do have moths, they'll be dead, and then you can just eat them instead of having them. Extra yeah. protein. <laughs> we have so many bugs in our system. I know people get kind of wigged out about that, but we, there are, we're more yeah. bugs than we're not bugs. So two-third cup chickpea, chickpea flour, two-third cup buckwheat flour, which, which I feel like people will be like, wait, is buckwheat flour gluten-free? Because it sounds like it has wheat in it, but it is gluten-free. So I know, I know it's kind of confusing. I know. It seems like a marketing issue. I know. Do you I think, think it's, like, I don't know. I don't I like think... gluten-free front and center. You know, I like it. Yeah. How about buckwheatless? Buckwheatless buck flour. Wheatless. <laughs> okay. And we're going to do the, you want me to do the dry ingredients? So two teaspoons of sea salt. Fine sea Fine salt. Fine sea salt. Right here. Right here. The pink the Himalayan pink sea salt. Himalayan. Oh, Derek's fave. fave. Okay, so two teaspoons. And there is a difference between fine and coarse. I like coarse things on like tomatoes. I like to have coarse sea salt. But fine sea salt is best when you're cooking things. Okay. If you put fine sea salt on tomatoes, usually you'll get too many. And then we're going to do one teaspoon of chili powder. What does Dr. Gregor say about chili powder? Does he talk about chili powder? I don't know. I actually don't know off the top of my head. I think he, well, he just talks about spices in general, and you, the more flavor something has, the better usually it is for you if it's a plant. And chili, I feel like, has so many different properties for you, especially uh, inflammation of the gut. It sounds, and, you know, sounds non-intuitive, right? Mm -hmm. Because people think, oh, that's going to irritate my gut, mm -hmm. but it actually helps to strengthen the lining of your gut. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to also do a, a tablespoon. Now, I like to use the black. Show the difference between the black sesame seeds and the... I think the black will look really cool in the crepes. Not, not that I've ever made crepes so before. So we could do half and half. I'm going to do like a half and half situation. Okay. All right. Half of the white ones. Because I'm sure they have different, different health properties. Different I'm sure, colors. yeah. Couldn't fit my, my tablespoon in there. Okay. okay, so I'm never sure with a green onion when it says to, like, how far do you slice it? Like, what, like, I'm never sure what they well, mean. Well, I usually start from the green onion and go in, I guess, but it you doesn't really matter. Well, you do that when you're making salad. But what about when you're doing, like, this kind of stuff? Yeah, I don't know. I go all the way till you don't want to use them anymore. Okay, you get a little bit of fingernail in there. Yeah. A little bit of fingernail. I did that the other day, and I got a chip out of my... 
out of my thumbnail. Does that make it not but, vegan now this anymore? is this not what? Not vegan anymore? Go what? Because it has a little yeah. finger tip. Well, I didn't do it while I was doing the show. Okay, and then what does it say? No, I think you're supposed to put it all in. It is, no? yeah, and that, and whisk yeah. it in. Whisk and it then together. what about the ginger? Not the ginger. No, yeah, and the ginger and too. And the ginger too. Okay. Let's okay, go. so we did. It. We already peeled and chopped this, but it's a. It's basically an inch, which I'm like, that's so arbitrary because there's there's different. It's just whips. like green you onions. Just gotta like you know, just freaking go for it. And then we're gonna use this. It says grated finely, so we're gonna use this grater, and we're gonna be mindful of our fingers. We're gonna grate that down. See, it helps. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, every episode, every episode. Let me just check that recipe out. Yeah, I, God, Ken doesn't trust me to read the recipe. That's not true. Okay. You know, your dad doesn't like ginger. I just found that out. Yeah, I didn't know that. I mean, how can you not like ginger? Well, it's a very strong flavor, you know, it's like real. Yeah. I don't like things that are like too ginger forward. Just you don't? I'm, like Ed Sheeran? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of ginger she meant. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna call it good here with this. This was a pretty big, I think, inch piece. Okay. What's the difference between a big inch and a small inch? <laughs> Well, okay. it's interesting because ginger is like, like look at the ginger over there. It's, it's all like different. how could you like you like I could like, take an inch off of where you know like this thing. These are skinny, some are thicker. Yeah. So. All right, and then kind of we add the water. We have one and a half cups of filtered water. We add that into here now, uh -huh. too, right? Yeah. Water. Okay. Here we go. I would put it all over the place. Well, you're whisking it as I'm yeah. doing it, so mm -hmm. it's you're actually you're putting it all over the place. Oh, with the I whisk. am. Oh, yeah. I am. Yeah. Okay. Is that the technical? Yeah. I learned that. This is supposed to be thinner than pancake batter, yes, which, which it, it definitely like. is. But I'm, I'm kind of nervous about this. Well, you said you used, you really wanted to make crepes when you were little. I did. I had a crepe pan. I never used it. Now I, crepes were all the rage. When they you were, were they were very popular. They're they not were like not crepe so shop. Much. Well, they can, so Santa Barbara bit, has much. one crepe shop. It's a yeah. or crepe. I think it's crepe, isn't it? I don't know. I think so. I mean, in, in, in Europe, it's really like obviously in France, it's really common. There's all kinds of street. I haven't been in a number of years, but all kinds of street cart vendors that sell. Oh really? Crepes. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we got so many when I when I went there. Where were you in France? Um, when I went with when I went after after college with Hallie, or right before, right in the middle oh, of college. I, yeah. For some reason, mm -hmm. I didn't get that you went to France. Yeah. Where did you go? Maybe you told your mom you were spending the night at someone's house, and then you went to France. <laughs> <laughs> I went to, then I went to France. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I didn't put okay. That past you. Okay. Now we're supposed to cover it. So it is. I mean, it's kind of thick, but I guess it's not a problem. It's it thinner says, than. Well, it says. It says, the battery should be thinner than pancake batter, dripping solely from the edge of a spoon or a spatula. Yeah, that's, that's right. But not as thin as almond milk. Add extra water okay, by the perfect. tablespoon if necessary. No, I think, think, we need I think it's anymore? good. I think it's you great. Think so? I think we nailed it. I think we need to ask someone. Who? I don't know. We're the ones, we are the ones <laughs> to ask. <laughs> that's, all is, that's all is here. <laughs> all right, then we're supposed to cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit for 30 minutes. What are we okay. gonna do for 30 minutes? Let's start drinking. Let's have a drink. <laughs> 30 minutes is just enough time to have a drink. Okay. Cover tightly or loosely or doesn't say, doesn't, don't feel that Well, bad. they want it to rest. Yeah, that's good. Take a nap. <laughs> okay. Right, we're gonna, we just let it sit, not in the fridge, just out, just out. Yeah. Okay. All right, see you in 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes. I'm scared. I'm gonna check out our batter here. Yeah. You're scared. I am. I'm scared. Okay, now what it says is if you if it's thickened too much. Oh yeah, it is. I think it, I don't know. Do you well, think no, it's too it's thick? Well, no, it's as if it feels like elastic, and it doesn't feel like elastic. I, I think it's okay. Think it's okay. I do. Let's well, right. let's try one. But if you so if it just as a note, if it feels too thick, add a couple tablespoons. It and says whisk if it together. feels like elastic, and it doesn't yeah. feel like elastic. Yeah. Now, one thing we didn't tell you before is to preheat the oven to 275 and put a cookie sheet inside of it, a baking sheet, so that we can put the crepes, the crepes, the crepes, once they're done. 
Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna read, read out these instructions. I think this is gonna be great. We've never done this before. No, and I, like I said, I always want to make. So I know we're doing it. Here we go. Now I do want to point out the difference. There's a lot of different oil sprays, and I want to point out a couple of things. First of all, first of all, I think it's hilarious that they all say that they have zero calories in them, and then you look at the ingredients, and all they are is oil. Right. That's all. And how how is that even possible? It says that. It says that a serving size is a third of, of a, a second. second. <laughs> like from now to now, now to now, right now to now, right now. now. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're, when you're doing things that, like olive oil is good if you want an olive oil flavor, but olive oil has a flavor to it. Canola oil is considered for all purpose baking. It's kind of Flavorless. considered the culinary like it has no flavor to it. Okay. So All right. we're gonna use canola oil. So we've been heating the pan over medium heat, the crepe pan. So you have to get a specific crepe pan. Did you want to, did we show it? We haven't shown it. It's kind of fancy. It's very fancy. It took some assembly. Yes, it did take some assembly, it's but cutie. isn't it beautiful? Yes. And so then it's... there is a little, this is a... A spreader outer? A spreader outer. So we'll see if that comes out. Because you, oh, you make it the size of the pan, right? Right, right, right. right. Okay. So, all right, so we have heat this pan over medium high heat. You're supposed to be giving me instructions. Well, you're doing it, you're spraying it. Okay. Am I doing it right? Yeah, I don't know. And then you're going to ladle about a third of a cup of batter into third, the crate. Oh, pan. that's how we should have used yeah. a third of a cup. Holding uh, the pans, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Holding the pan's handle with your non-ladling hand, quickly use your wrist to shake the pan in a circular motion, distributing the cake batter into a thin circular crepe. So you're gonna circular it. This is terrible. This is lift not... it. Lift the pan right off this stove and shake it in the air to get the batter moving. Shake it in the air like you just don't care. Okay. The hell is that? Oh my. I don't know. This is terrible. <laughs> Here, oh, this is awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we probably do need to make it thinner. Okay. Shake. It's not shaking. I'm going to put a, I'm going to add some water here in the background okay. into All right. it. All right, this is not, this is not crepey. All right. This is, oh, it's uh, crappy. But the hope this makes Remember you, Remember that season that we made the, um, feel better the taff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it tastes great. Because, so this is, so if you're, Making this and you're discouraged because yours turned out sucky the first time, don't feel bad. I'll tell you this though, it's really, it tastes great. Okay, so I, I just, added some, added a couple one, I'm gonna make this one cook all the way through just so we can eat it. Try it, okay. All right, so I think this is better consistency. I added a couple tablespoons of water. Okay. And we're gonna try it again. And I think we should use a third cup. Maybe we need cup. to reuse the user manual for this. There it is. Oh, he got all over the stuff. What's that? <laughs> Just stop. What? Okay, what is going on over there? This, so this, this is not this quite crepe-like. <laughs> but they are delicious. Okay, so, so we're going to try again. This is, you should not look like this. Do not do that. It looks like but pate. If it, if it does look like that, don't feel bad. We're no, going to try it. don't feel bad. Okay, oh, my it, gosh. Those are, it's so, it tastes so good, though. I know. But I by looking it. at it, would you actually eat it? No, but no, but I knew what went into it. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Let me try it this time. You wanna try it? Yeah. Okay, and I'll read you the directions. Mm -hmm. Man, what if she does it better than you? How's that gonna work? Can I spray it? Yeah, spray it for me. And just set it down on there. Well, she better do it better than me. And just set it down on there. What do you think there. you did with, I did with So that's definitely more, not zero calories. No. I was also longer than a third of a second. Yeah, yes. way longer. Okay, so now All right. what? So I'm going to ladle a third of a cup So you're cheating. How? We're following the directions. Because it's a, it's a Oh, that's so much better. See, it's thin. Oh. oh. So you don't have to have it go the whole length of the yeah, whole. Yeah, they're just going to yeah. be small crepes there. OK. So it's not quite round. Looking good. So you can see it's like on this side here, it's cooked. Look at it, it's like getting dry on the top. So we need the whole thing to look like that. No, I think that's. OK, so. I kind of thought we could, it's getting dry, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it now, see. Okay, what do we think, what do we think? Running? Whoa, good. I think it's, see, you could have, you could have done it more. I, this did not okay. work. Okay, all right, this, here. This did not here. work at all. Here, we're gonna go. We're gonna, I'm gonna flip this back over. Just make sure it's, oh, 
Looks great. I don't want our audience to think that they need to use two flippers. Well, I mean, what if what well, if someone doesn't have two flippers? Okay, well, okay, okay, let me see if I can do it with one. Okay, now we're going to put them yeah, on the cooking one. sheet. Okay. In the oven. In the oven, keeping them warm at 275. Okay. While we make the rest of it. All right. Like, run, 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 okay, run. now I would like you to try and see who no, did it better. You well, really? the, the audience All can right. vote. All right. Derek fine. can vote. Okay. Now I sprayed for you, and I'm having to spray for myself. Well, it's too much. It was too much. There was like it was pooling on the edges. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, All one right. third of a cup. Okay. So the thing that I noticed that you did that I didn't do was that you kept it in the center. Well, yeah. And you just did this little thing. Okay. And already mine's looking better. Okay, but then sh shimmy it. I need to shimmy it so it gets real thin. Okay. Oh. Oh God. Okay. See, that's look good. It. That's good. That's good. Just, just. This is this quit. is your fault. <laughs> It's like oh an amoeba. Oh, we lost our scooper in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta put it on this plate here. I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna go rinse this off. Okay, well, so far, I'm not doing a good job, but I did better than the time before. Yeah, like that That works as a crepe right there, what you got. Yeah, I know. It's just not, it's thin. It, should, it, should, it feels like it should be thinner. I feel like we should add, do you, I mean, I don't even know what the city, making it sit for a while did for it, you yeah. know? I mean, don't tell people to not let it sit. They should let it sit. Yes, yes. The, no, they should definitely let it sit. Okay. Okay, it's getting dry on the edges. Starting to. Yeah. <clears throat> At least it's moving. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try. Yeah, one, you're gonna try a one. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a one flipper, one flipper technique, okay. and I think that that gets extra points. Okay. It's kind of like when you degree of difficulty, you know, on the vaults. On I think that floor. using two flippers is hard, actually. Well, I think it's stupid. <laughs> well, it worked great. Sometimes hard and stupid is the same thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. All right. I feel like Please we have... end up on the floor. Please. <laughs> I know, I was no, like, oh, look. Now that's beautiful. That's better TV. That looks good. That's beautiful. I just don't see how, I don't know. I feel like we need to get them thinner somehow. Put them on a treadmill. Put a little more water in? <laughs> try putting a little more water in? Let's just try. Sure. Might as well try. Okay. All right. Whisk that baby up. Yeah, because it doesn't really feel like it's going to roll up or anything. I know. Very I just well. can't imagine how it's going to fold. Although it might be fine. Okay, we're gonna try a little thinner. Okay, a little thinner. Should I try this one too? Sure. Or is this one gonna be all you again? Now you can do it. I need one more. I need one more attempt at round. It's going in there. They really smell good. I mean, that's the thing that I really. Am. I know. I would just eat it plain. That's, pl that's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Yes. Okay, that's not a third. Of, that would add a little more. Ooh, that's really nice and yeah, thin. See, I wouldn't that's, even. That's how it's supposed to be. Put a little more in there. Yeah, there you go. Like I don't even feel like I should. I do know that you did. I just let it. Yeah, it separated it. So I'm just I'm just let it do its thing. Yeah, I feel like the circular thing like, is it. what made it. Yeah. yeah, but it didn't on yours. Yeah. This is my best one yet. It looks great. Best of three. And it's getting um, little holes fast, see? Because the, pan's, so the pan's And it's so thin, too. Right, right. Cool. All right. I think I've got it. I think they should be bigger, though. That's the only thing. Is like I feel like they should be spreading out to the whole. Well, let's try it. Let's use all the rest of this batter and put it on the whole. But then how are you going to flip it? With no, the, how are you right, gonna flip right. It? No, don't do that. Plus, it would be too much to eat. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> it was going so well. It was going so well. All right, flip this piece back really, over. I'm really sorry. I like you were getting a little cocky. Yeah, yeah she was. She was like, she was like, I nailed it. <laughs> I'm a professional creper. Oh, no. How come I can't get that apart? Damn it. I need one more shot. Again? Don't you think? Yeah, probably. I need to feel successful. All right, put that one on the on the reject plate over here. Oh, I don't know if it's really a reject. I mean, like, you, make, you, make a, you make a teeny, teeny, yes. tiny crepe yes. out of that one. Here you go. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, put that on. That's going to end up on the floor. <laughs> 
Fall down. Okay. Drop it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. One more time. One more time. One more time. One this more is... time for the gold. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get this one. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get this one. So you're... At, it says like third of a cup, so I put quite a bit more in there. Because you... It doesn't quite get it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, nice. Painting the shape. Did you, yeah, did you like that? <laughs> that was really good. That was good technique. Now, this is the... Now, I'm going to let you do the flipping. I think, I think that's... Oh, you're coming back to my two <laughs> spatula flipper? No, I think you should mm -hmm. do it in one spatula. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your tattoo does say ninja. It does, right, I know, and spatula ninja. Okay, should I go for it? It's, it's like drier on the edges. It's got, but it doesn't have enough bubbles. Well, I think it's, it, there's no bubbles. how dry it is, though. But there's no bubbles. <laughs> so is, it, bu is bubbles? it bubbles or the dryness? Which is, which is the determining, because it's pretty See, dry. It's supposed to be dry all the way. That's not dry in the center. I don't know. I it's going to dry quickly, so we'll just, wait. One, we'll just so. wait for a minute. Okay, I think it's ready. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. One, two. Whoa! Nice. That's the best one so far. so far. I, I recommend like the double be... spatula. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know what, we should have is a long spatula. Yeah, like a long skinny. Yeah, yeah, long, yeah. yeah. Yes. That, <clears throat> that's what would work. Yeah. Well, yeah. But if you don't Maybe have that equipment, you don't have to buy a new equipment. Well, you do need the crepe well, pan. Well, we had to have the crepe pan. Yeah. I mean, you, you probably could do this in a skillet, but I don't know. I like this crepe pan I know. a lot. I think, try, I think getting the, with the, what do you have, a wall of a skillet can be hard. I, I, what I think is cool about learning how, now that I've become a crepe making expert. You're an expert. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm a crepe making expert, I could see making crepes like regularly and having them for different things because you could put so many different things like we're gonna I know we've got another recipe that is a, a scramble that can go inside of us but anything could go inside yeah, of it yeah totally you know? I mean, like, like a creme fraiche would be so good in there mm -hmm. yeah or like and Miyoko's Miyoko's has all yeah. kinds of yeah. cheeses oh, that are oh, that, would be, that would be so oh, that would good be, in um, there that would be Roll delicious up. yes but you could even cut them into all right, I want to call it on this one okay. open up the oven okay all right now I'm your bitch <laughs> Okay, all right, so we gotta finish these off. We've got okay. more to make. Um, yeah, what's going on over here now? Tempting the two spatula approach. That's pretty good. It's really good. I feel like that's what the way mean, to do it. What do you mean pretty good? I was but really I, hoping but... you were gonna fling it on the floor. <laughs> anyway, I like these. I think they're really great. I'm, I'm a crepe. I'm, I'm so excited that at 63, I'm finally getting to make some crepes. It's pretty, uh, pretty phenomenal. Okay. Last one in. And moment of truth, baby. Okay, here. Well, they're already done. We already, they're well, already we, done. We, we learned some things off camera. We totally. So we're gonna t tell you some secrets. <clears throat> so we're gonna put those so on the plate. This is the most perfect one. And and what did I do that one? No. <laughs> Jake did that. And what we, we discovered. Is that okay. you want to pour it from the bowl using the measuring cup wasn't it the best. Was so good. I like so the spatulating it from directly from the bowl was the best. And then making the pan, sure that the pan is hot enough. Really hot to pour. You really, stuff. really, really, really hot. Really, really hot. And shaking the pan didn't really do anything. Shaking the pan did not help us at all. It actually hurt us. It made it more crazy. But these are beautiful. Crazy. See the lacy edges around them? It's, they're really cute. I don't see. There's the black sesame seeds. Um, oh, yeah. Those are the... I, I, so you can't really... I mean, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. What I like is the green onions. Mm -hmm. I would probably put more green onions in them. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, we tasted them. They taste great. And they, they do taste really great. Yeah. What I like about... First of all, I love that I got to make crepes, which is awesome. I, I also like that we learned a lot yep. from making the recipe, which we hope that helps you when you make them. Having a crepe pan really makes a difference. All the things that Jake talked about. Big spatula. We need a longer <laughs> spatula. So the two spatula technique is like that's a very professional move <laughs> that you have to at least have an application into culinary <laughs> school to attempt. Yeah. But um, having a longer spatula would definitely make a difference. Pan really hot. 
These are going to be great with any kind of savory, savory filling. You could yeah. even just put Miyoko's cheese in it. It would be really, really great. Good. Uh, it's a non-dairy cheese. Can, yeah, you, yeah, you could like even like do hard-boiled eggs and stuff, and just like make it really well, easy. This is a vegan show. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> she said like hard-boiled like, eggs. Hard he, well, eggs. you can take the just egg and make scrambled yeah. eggs out of that. That yeah. would be really good. Mm -hmm. We have an in the um, in the season. We also have a, a turmeric chickpea scramble that would be great. In that, in and that's there. Laura. Laura Wright recommends that as well. So that's going to be really good. But I could just see having these. You know, around and on, you know, there's a spring summer thing. It's, mm -hmm. I, I just think they're, yeah, they're, they're great. great. I would make them in the wintertime they're so too. Good. So we hope you like them. Success. Success <laughs> was a little, we, we learned a lot. Yeah. yeah, lessons learned. So like us and comment and subscribe to our channel and share with someone else. And, if you, and we would, if you decide to try to make these and you're brave enough to film yourself, we'd love to see some. That would be some awesome. Bloopers. That would be awesome we to have it. Yes, that would be so fun. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.